everybody and welcome back to my channel. This season of my channel that is called Sustainable Ways of Beautiful Living uh, where I want to show you some of my favorite life wear items in this particular episode. Some of my old um, and favorite and tried and tested items for at leisure, for spending summer, for being active uh, and doing different hustles around the kids together with some of the new arrivals for this season you could be a really minimal in this in curating your wardrobe uh, i did try that before but it did not always like bring me enough satisfaction so in this uh, season i am doing a little bit more of deviations and i'm trying on different fun colors that i was limiting myself to because they seem too seasonal but nevertheless i think it's great joy to just have it in your wardrobe and it always gives me another boost uh, in my desire to exercise and keep active uh, these leggings are new and they are by vara active one of the women that i was following for a really long time tatiana she is gorgeous and she lives in London and she launched this uh, line and I think the cuts of uh, some of the garments are so beautiful that I always was giving the compliments to her so and then I decided to try and test some of the items for myself this is really cute it has the front panel and the side panels on here uh, to just like support that curvature of the female body what I also find quite different is that it's quite lightweight, it's quite stretchy, not like super pushy in this area at all, which I think is super important for some of the uh, women out here. And this top that I'm wearing right now is by Pullenberg. It is such a fun brand that I didn't shop for for years. It was my favorite when I was pregnancy because they always have this like knitted skirts and bottoms and like soft leggings and jeggings and this is such a cute a match colored top and I always limited myself to some of these fun colors because I thought this just like too seasonal they're not gonna last but I find myself now in a position where I want to update my active wear quite regularly uh, some of it doesn't last i would rather have less and just like wear it until the end uh, to the ground and then uh swap it for something new so this is really cute also comes uh with the matching shorts one of the items that i always use as my cover-up one of my favorite life wear items is this long sleeve uh, this brand is cotton citizen it's an la brand and they just have the best uh, knitwear out there i'll show you in a second so this is really old like over a year old and i'll show you the shorts in a second what i like about it is just it's just so lightweight and it uh, has like vintage a black color which is not easy to achieve but they do it quite brilliantly and uh, i do sometimes just like wear it for lounging or uh, for traveling as a cover-up it served me really well in my last trips but uh, more importantly it's uh, when you go to the gym and it's really quite cold in the beginning and you want to you know uh, not be super cold in the beginning when you start your workout so i'll just wear this and then when i get warmer i do remove it and uh, yeah it's been through so many washes and i think it's just still looks great and now a moment of gratuity i'd like to say thank you and we are so blessed to have a lot of support in ukraine uh, by the global community but just to remind you that it's not over yet and uh, ukraine still needs your support and with the recent damage explosion in uh Kherson region in novokhovka there's so many people that had to leave their homes and lost all of their belongings so i'm gonna link some of the 
uh, fonts uh, down under this video where you can go and help them directly and thank you again uh, for your support from me a Ukrainian and other Ukrainian people uh, this is one of the new things and it also is from Vara Active I never had anything like this something with the symmetry I did see some brands doing one shoulder uh, tops for gym never tried that one yet maybe that will work for me too because i have kind of like broad and flat uh straight shoulders this is really gorgeous loving the color check out because they i think they're still running sale on some of the items and i really cannot be uh happier with the quality because you know that i'm particular about the quality and this is just gorgeous it has like curvy linear cut that are really flattering on the female proportions the sizes that i have is the top in a small size it's a bit broader and it's good that it's not super pushy in this area and the bottoms i have in an extra small but they do quite stretch out so and they're not super long which i also do like <laughs> and then another favorite item of mine for life where some of you already did see it on my instagram it's this gorgeous it's called a windbreaker parka so the material is like yeah, quite like uh dense so it would protect you really nicely from the wind, I guess from the rain, maybe not 100%, but it should do without being like covered with the resin because I did try some windbreakers and cold weather jackets in the past, like that one from Uniqlo. I do quite like it, but it just doesn't feel right because it stops most of the air circulation and it actually makes you feel really uncomfortable well something like this i believe would be a, such a great fit and what i also do like i did check a lot of like luxury brands it was last summer before i was traveling i did go to even like burberry and prada and a lot of these brands that kind of like do technical uh weather pieces and i didn't see anything that really i really did like and this has been it's just uh does the job really well and has the aesthetics that uh, most of the people need it is a bit short there's one in a longer length as well so like think about like maybe well uh if it's going to be colder you'll have a uh, thermal layer here, maybe a fleece, but I think for some of the weather types, just perfect. Like for English weather, where in summer it could get easily really cold, and there is a beautiful hood as well. Such a nice material here that I actually I wanted to match it with some other like tracksuit bottoms or like maybe shorts. So the hood, as I said, is fully removable. Then. Uh, it also folds up really nicely, which I'll show you in a second. And look at the sleeve. Sleeve is long and gorgeous for those with really long arms. <laughs> if you're really tall, I think it would work for you too. And this length of a jacket, usually like for women's proportion, like works wonders. Uh, yes, it cuts you slightly up here, but if you're getting cold in the shoulders, like I do. It is usually something that works. I can be like, really cold here, like wear like anything lightweight, but I have to be warm in my shoulders. So I think it's just gonna be such a great uh, item to add to my uh, like all of the trips that I just want to pack minimally. And I'm excited to try it in this uh, summer. So I'm gonna show you in a sec how you fold it into a cute little tote. Uh, there is a zip on the back which opens up and then you just turn it upside down. I guess it would be nice to kind of fold it. Okay. Fold it, but you don't have to really do that. It's also kind of crease free. Uh, design for me is a fashion and function or in interior it could be like uh, aesthetics and function. So when those two work, it's just such great item it means that it was designed really well so design is really important this is what we have really nice small packable jacket it's something that i didn't have 
I'm excited to have this in my, you know, uh, travel arsenal now for being minimal but having something that functions so well. And also this is the moment to show you my essential items in a way that actually I can show to you because these are new and I uh, was only like discovered them around four or five years ago. I remember in London I bought a pair of sneakers that were like leather. They were not super comfortable but I really liked them and I wanted to wear them and uh, because I'm a luxury shopper I kind of like posted in the stories like a guy's like can you recommend something kind of like what kind of socks do you wear with like all those like designer sneakers and so many people just said like try Falke and uh, I never knew about like that socks could be designed so well and this is not an ad it's just me as a person who is grateful so basically the feet circulation is really important and having the shoes that fit you really nicely without blocking that circulation is really important and socks you might think like socks don't matter but uh, some of the cheaper socks they just like, wear out so quickly and some of the yeah these socks last really long so usually I just get like two pairs two or three so I have three here this would probably mean that I will just like pack up two I'll use one and I have another one that is like more colored I like them in the colored uh, bright colors as well because it's more fun and they just last a bit longer uh, in terms of the look but they're not visible at all under the sneakers and they are made in a way that they're cushioned on the bottom side let me open one for you and no other brand does something like this i think some of the sporty brands they try to they also do something similar but this is just brilliant work uh before you had to kind of go come to selfridges or harrods to shop them even here in abu dhabi i actually went to Triano's store the other day which is the only like luxury shop in Abu Dhabi and they didn't, didn't have it I was like what like why do you not have it uh, but they do have them in uh, level shoes Dubai mall if you're gonna be in Dubai mall so great because this is cushioned and this makes sure like it fills all those like gaps in the shoe and it just works and there's one for the light left and one for the right and I'll, I'll i can never go back to any other socks i did i sometimes buy them when i see them uh, for my kids but they're really quite hard to find and for eugene as well so we are really, really obsessed and just go for your size and um, honestly <laughs> life-changing and then comment me like if you if you also agree that it's such an important part and uh, yeah talking about socks I find that actually like a lot of the times when you exercise it's better to exercise bare feet as well because in some of the exercises that I do at the moment it's important to spread your toes and in this way you have a better grip and some of your deeper muscles work better so i know some of the pilates people they do wear specific pilates socks but i don't know i think like in yoga it is not always that is necessary and healthy but do check that your socks that you wear do not block your circulation because i want you to be healthy as well as well as looking good you know and now again something old tried and tested i love myself a pair of shorts that are sweatshirts for the summer i've been doing it for a couple of seasons now if you want to go really budget go where the uh some of the pollen bear ones i'm not sure like if a haitian does them i think they might too but it's just like deteriorate so quickly i think pollen bear men's section and they kind of have like a longer one and <laughs> when i was a mommy and i just wanted to comfort kind of like uh, shorts i would always like go for them yeah men's section size extra small 
small or small and uh, they do look a bit weird uh, they don't look pretty and feminine but they are just what you sometimes need for comfort without being like overly like baggy uh, for the summer you don't always want to wear sweat sweatpants that are long so these are like really much more elegant find uh, that gives you also the comfort uh, the easiness of you so this is my like to go uh, last minute uh, school run outfit but we are in Abu Dhabi and the brand is Cotton Citizen again so this is not vintagey black this is a solid black but oh my god how much I love it this is a size extra small they are coming a bit pricier than your regular you know at leisure items they could be $150 up to $200 but oh my god like how well it wears and how good the quality is if you'd ever try like uh, wild fox i was like really big fan of wild fox i don't know where they are but i need more brands like that in my life so check out on revolve or they have their own website i'll link these below i just love them and uh, they do last of course they also would you know wear out uh, but i think around like two three years these might last my previous one was a bit cheaper so it only lasted me a year or so and then uh, it was changed to this one. The tank top here is just H&M with a really nice tidy um, piping. Really nice and elegant. I have some book covers here today. Do, do big shopping on Amazon because, you know, I decided to give it a try. But just like simple, easy uh, combination with any of the sandals, with any of the sneakers just works well for a beautiful living uh, while being minimalist. Uh, now again a new item here. I uh, saw this at my Teresa. Uh, this is the short by wardrobe and YC and yeah of course as a minimalist you wouldn't want to have two pairs of the same type of like black shorts but they are really really quite different so these are more structured material and you can wear them here and there not like for going out but for something a little bit you know more elevated at one hand that's what i imagine but i do find them really too short and what i like about them actually that they do have the pockets and i wanted to have i tried a few times the product shorts that are really cute and they're a bit longer but they do not have any pockets and i find it so inconvenient so this is something that i need to think about again i think it will look cute for like cycling or uh with this like branded top look it's just such a good <laughs> look for going back home uh my home city where i was born Nipro, is like uh kind of like a big city and uh, people like to dress up really nicely a little bit you know like like in Austria maybe like Switzerland like not many people are so laid back and when, I, when I'm on holiday I like to be really laid back and now I think like if I'll be going to my uh, to Nibro I'll have to wear some items that don't look you know like trash <laughs> so this would be such a good uh, look which I think makes me what I am uh, being like born and grown up in a city where people like dressing up and then I wanted to also try it with the jacket. Uh, the top is not new, kind of new for I got it in a, a winter time. Still is fine, kind of like I wear it, not as much actually. Like that, like clean finish of that other top uh, a lot more. This one is just you know for a change if I need it to look a little bit more elevated. I would say put it on, but definitely. It is not necessary at all for a minimalist look. Eventually, I did decide to try them together again. And uh, yeah, I think it's so cute. I think it works. Just not for where I'm living at the moment. But if I'll be changing locations uh, often, I think this is the way to go. So cute. They are not exactly matching, which I absolutely love. I don't like things that are like matchy matchy, the same material, same kind of print. But if they're almost there, it's even better for me. So let's just pretend to be in Zurich. 
on a rainy day like what happened to me last summer but I wore some like really minimalist clothes and it didn't look nice and this time is it time to fix it so cute and fun Now another functional item that I'm so obsessed with since I bought it was it in January when I decided to get right back to it straight into fitness and new life January and I I thought about like that something that should exist for people who want to run and not carry like all the stuff with them so this is a Lulu lemon fine and they do have it in a few different colors I went for the purple because it's just so cute and I have a couple of other items that are suitable with this so I want to show you some more details so this is where you would put your iPhone for me it never works like arm holders for iPhone just doesn't work I don't like it somewhere in a pocket I don't own items like this and this is just like so great so you can put stuff here yeah like iPhone here on the sides you will have compartments uh, for my house I need to cut have the card to enter the building, to enter the building, and also the keys. So one of these compartments can hold whatever. Even it could hold a small packable tote if you're doing groceries after you run. Uh, another really small compartment holds like a AirPods case, and on the other side, same. There's like two compartments one that's really great for the keys and you would put them on this carabiner lock i just pulled it here and nothing like sh 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 dribbles and uh, it's just so so great it has changed like my fitness life when i just want to go for a jog or cycling you know session just so fun and the colors are i think there's orange and there's a khaki but I like to have it in a bright color because it kind of like brings uh, your mood up and uh, it doesn't get lost in other items. Also quite small, so something that I really can recommend to you. Now another old and good, I think this outfit never made it into a YouTube video, it was on my reels, but they are just like my favorite items for fitness and for whatever else might be. I saw the, the brand for the top is a girlfriend collective. I also have the orange shorts that are in a wash right now, uh, but this is just a, such a great style and color. Uh, for myself creamy off white they do come small so you need to size up a bit this is a size s uh small holds everything really nicely goes with everything i always wear it like with any colors that i have in here just goes with everything and my favorite shorties uh, these are from collection of venus williams it's called 11 had them for a while they also come with the jacket. It didn't go for the jacket, that would be too much. But such a cute a mermaid um, color. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing it uh, with my shoes. For the sneakers, I also decided to just have one pair of uh, running sneakers because I don't want to have much more. I have more like leisure and leisure like lifestyle sneakers. But for fitness, I currently just use one and it's not black, it's not white, it's this bright and I love it. It always is like bringing up my mood. I think my next one probably would be like orange, something like this. In the past I had more, but I always just like have one favorite one, right? So I think that is just what works and I'll show it to you with a belt in a second. So with this outfit, this belt holder, back holder just works wonderfully. If I wouldn't want to be that exposed, just any t-shirt 
and I actually now wear plain t-shirt like non-fitness t-shirts because they just like feel a little more like nicer to the skin and if you're cold then you want a thicker t-shirt are uh, these like tank tops that are like sporty they don't really do much because you also already have like this coverage i think this is enough and that one doesn't do anything much and a nice like gray or white t-shirt can be multi-functional and serve you as a casual thing as a like a gym uh, item i take it from my husband he always does that and then when I, they just you know like lose their shape and color you just like replace them with a fresh t-shirt this is the way to go i believe and another matcha moment here with the green shorts now as i said i don't really like to wear things matchy matchy in my opinion it's just a lot more fun uh, so this cream top goes as nicely with the deep colors as well as some bright colors but this green is muted as you can see it's not bright at all so it needs some life to pull it out and i think this is really nice and cute uh the shorts are pulling back from that set they are size extra small they kind of already have that vintage effect and uh, to be fair it's not my favorite cut of shorts i usually um, don't wear it outside the house just for my workouts uh, because as you can see that's what it does in this area which is not always ideal if you don't mind it of course uh, feel free to wear it i think i might wear it today for the school pickup but otherwise, yeah, it's just good for lounging around the house. And uh, now I'll show you the socks worn with the Samba sneakers, uh, the cover-up. This would be the total look, three-piece uh, with a denim jacket with a small brown detail. And this is very different from the black, total black and white look as you notice that one is a really high contrast this is really muted so i love things like this because you can easily wear them when you don't want to be all like dressed up and wear a lot of makeup because with high contrast uh, for some people it's just too strong if you're not wearing like lots of makeup and your you know skin tone is not even it you might just like feel that you know, it looks out of place and therefore I did try both of these uh, sunglasses you can you see here it's really cute but it is kind of strong look very like edgy to soften it up a bit I'll actually go for the brown this white frame almost matching my old hair color now it's a bit darker Let's see if it brings out some redness and some highlights here. This is the look. <laughs> and yeah, something like this. And another look. Some of my uh, old favorites and new favorites here. This trouser with a flared leg, flared legging. When I was younger, I think I was a teenager, I did wear always like similar type of pants and in very similar color actually. That's why I thought it would be such an instant match. And uh, these scalloping is just here. It's not too much in a way that it is bringing out the best of my feminine goddess vibes. Uh, looks really nice with the cream as well. And I'll show you the matching top in a second. Uh, this is with the matching top that I don't do regularly, but here it just brings out the best of my goddess uh, inside. And I also love how these deep colors of, you know, some blues also do that, but greens, especially greens and khakis together with some uh, gold accessories, like with the earrings, with your jewelry that you were just gonna wear here. It just looks so gorgeous, just brings out everything best in your skin tone and you see the highlights, just such a cute color that is a good 
base but also the shape so gorgeous i love this set this is by Visky active i have the regular length now i think it's actually good i have it for running i also tried it it's really nice and comfy i think i'd rather wear it for like more like wintry kind of like weather in a heat i do get a little bit hot in this area when i did my run the top is just great it's supportive it is like holding everything together uh, sizes are small and small they don't do extra small but it's a great material it stretches out a bit and it's uh, really soft but i think this is going to become my uh travel uh pad because if you think about it it, it like it would wash really well it would look put together not like those sweatpants that are yes they are comfy but they just gonna last you a few washes to look new and nice uh, i'm gonna really give it a try for traveling this summer and then you know at destination it could also serve as your like cold weather trouser why did I not think about it before? Because I always like try to put some chinos or like jeans in my travel like items when I when it's for the summer where it could actually just be like a long pair of pants like this or a legging. And here it is a top that is also visky active. It is so cute. I think this is just gonna be as I said, my uh, travel essentials for now, together with the black set. Black set is more like at the destination, and this is going to be like in, in the transit zone. I did already wear it a couple of times, so it might just have a little staining, but it's, it's just so great. And after the workout, that's what you, you like, yeah? Sometimes after the workout, you are a little bit like... Yeah, yes, you're hot, but if out, outdoors is a bit cold, you want to wear something that's comfy and roomy and just cozy and, you know, just uh, feeling your uh, best. And I hope you did enjoy this haul and uh, some of my recommendations were useful for you. Please give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe. And thank you for supporting Ukraine again. And if you haven't yet, please consider donating on one of the links if below because we are in a need of everybody's uh, help. At the moment, uh, Ukrainian people are protecting the whole Europe from the barbaric invasion at the moment. And uh, it would be nice to, you know, say thank you and uh, pay it forward a bit. Thank you again for all of your support and I'm going to see you in my next one.